Hello and how are you all today? My name is Priyanka and the question says if fx is equal to mx square plus n when x is less than 0, nx plus m when the value of x is greater than or equal to 0 or less than or equal to 1 and nx cubed plus m when the value of x is greater than 1. For what integers m and n does both limit x approaches to 0 fx and limit x approaches to 1 fx exist. So here in this question we are required to find out the value of integer m and n. So when x is less than 0 then the function which is given to us is mx square plus n and when the value of x is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 1 then the value of the function is given to us as nx plus m. So we have limit x approaches to 0 from the left hand side mx square plus n and on using the limits we have answer as equal to n and here we have limit x approaches to 0 from right hand side nx plus m and using the limit we have it equal to m so we can write and therefore we have n equal to m Right, this is for the first case. Now for the second case we have when the value of x is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 1 then the function which is known to us is nx plus m and when x is greater than 1 then the function which is given to us is nx cubed plus m. So therefore, limit x approaches to 1 from left hand side nx plus m and, and using the limit we have the answer as n plus m. And here we have limit x approaches to 1 from the right hand side nx cube plus m which gives us the answer as n plus m right so we can say that therefore limit x approaches 0 if x is equal to m and limit x approaches 1 if x is equal to 2m for all m which belongs to real number. So the answer to the session is that for limit x approaches 0 fx to exist we need m equal to n right and for limit x approaches to 1 fx exist for any integral value of m and n Right, so this is a required answer. Hope you understood the whole concept well. Have a nice day.